Hey guys, Motivate Emmy over here. We're gonna play Chapel Valley by Scottish67. Um, he's a guy that basically made his impression on this community by the time I started streaming. Uh, he won the rookie contest when I first showed up, which would have been early 2021. So, um, yeah, I'd be curious to see what he's. It was Ryland Heath was the name of that course. I don't know why I remember that course and I don't ever remember other ones, but I do remember that one. Anyways, this is his entry into the TGC Tours 2023 Major Design Contest. Uh, contest that's designed to create courses for the major competitions on the TGC Tours for the best players in the game. Got some, it's got some oak montishness to it. Let's see, what am I looking at? Fan yeah, Fantasy's not usually my favorite. If you want me to play it, do exclamation point Discord. It'll give you my Discord uh, server. And there's a place in there to request playthroughs. Uh, I like to keep them all in one place. Grenade, how's it going? So, tee shot was fairly straightforward. What are we dealing with green wise? Okay. Oh, easy. Oh. Very Oakmontish. Look at that thing like wobbling its way up there. Oh no, it, oh, it went right on me. It's no good. I'd be curious if that's going to be what we're looking at for this course. You know, reasonable tee shots, but greens are going to be tough. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I mean, I, I, it's fine. I just, I don't love that the landing area and everything's hidden when there's water down there. Now, I mean, we can scout cam it, right? And given this is creative for the... This is a major design contest and it's for plat and they use scout cam there. That makes it better, but. Uh, and we're going to miss the fairway with three wood. That's that takes talent. Yeah, fantasy course isn't usually my favorite. Unless it's really, really well done. Bunkering looks quite nice here. Oh! What's well, one way to make it stop? The other thing is that, I mean, I already have a decent length list of courses that people ask me to play, so I tend not to just take requests from people when it's their first um, time they've ever chatted on the stream. Right. If it's people that I've been here for quite a while, I'm that's different. But usually I like people to kind of hang around a little bit and put a little bit of effort into joining the community before I'm before I'm just going to take requests like that. Uh, 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 how far is it to get this other fairway? 320. Hmm. If you can get that, you're getting there. Hmm. The other thing is it's not a massively wide fairway anyways. Screw it. Uh, miss it fart. No. I fasted the ever living hell out of that, so I don't that that killed it. But I don't know if we were making it regardless. Interesting. Could have played left. Probably would have had a shot in. It would have been difficult. What would I have been like, uh, um, angle wise? It wouldn't have been that different. 
certainly would have been better to be coming from the right to this pin. And then when you get pins left, back left there. Hmm. Back, back stop me? Oh. Well, that's harsh. Still make birdie. The vibe he's got going on here is quite cool. <sighs> Tempo is bad. It's it's very got very much got a feel of Oakmont for me. I have said that a couple times already. It's because it really has that feeling. Greens are at 170, so they're not slow. So putts downhill are rather scary. Look at that thing just dribbling down there. Hmm. Cross bunker up here. Okay. I mean... Not my favorite thing in the world to uh, to to have a, a hero shot on a 430 yard par four, but I'll get over it. Into the wind, we're barely gonna make it. Approach shots seem reasonably inviting for the most part. So I'm going to bang the drum again of, is this course difficult enough? And I'm going to overplay the hell out of that break. Uh, and I'm going to hit it too hard and I'm going to just make it seem like maybe it is. It seems like it's, there's it subtlety, like green speed for sure. And then the subtlety of the break, like the putts are tricky. That seems to be where the difficulty lies here, which is going to kill me because I'm not very good at putting. Wow. Um, okay. Well, slight fast takes me over to the other fairway, but it's not going to make it. We're in this thing. Which isn't a hazard, thankfully. I meant green speed. If I said wind speed. Um, oopsie. That that made that hole a little easier. I mean, this, this is Scottish, again, creating a really cool course. Like, really nailing the environment. He always does. It's a, just a really, really well-made course. The thing that I'm finding with the major contest, again, and I've said it every playthrough pretty much I've done. In order to make it difficult enough for Platt, you almost have to make it like really stupid. And good designers don't want to do that. Now, 
I'm not playing at the conditions that they suggest in the uh, forum because I have to go find them and I can't be bothered. Like, it's just what it comes down to. I can't be bothered to go looking. But it should still be difficult even if the conditions are... Like, like this here. This is kind of what we're talking about, right? You have barely any room to keep it ne near this pin and it's going to the back. And then just a hair fast, you're missing left. We'll max spin it even though it won't matter. Cause coming out of the rough, it ain't spinning much. But there's a lot of this around the hole, the ball just trickling, 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 trickling. So if you don't make a putt, if you don't make the putt, you're struggling. And it seems to be that's the way he's gone for for difficulty. I feel like the plat guys will kind of giggle at that and be like, yeah, okay, sure. Because they're going to make the putt. And I think the biggest difficulty in this contest is, is, is figuring out how do you design a course that's difficult enough for plat? You can make a course difficult for me easily. How do you make it difficult enough for the plat guys? That's the challenge to me. Because the flat guys wouldn't be slowing it like that to there. I mean, they'll they'll be knocking pins down. Putt like this, they'll figure out it's going to be, you know, this many clicks right or left. So this is a course that if you put the conditions up, and even even as now, it's 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 you know it's not an easy course, but if you really if you put the conditions up, um. Your your typical player is going to get their head kicked in. I'm not convinced Plot will. Uh, just hit three wood. Thought about trying to take driver over everything, but just didn't see it being worth it. Course you lost for that contest. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it was. And anytime you have a difficulty based um, contest, that makes things tricky. We were talking about it a bit in um, on Victor's Wreckfest stream on Friday, and like for me, maybe and maybe not as much the major design contest, although kind of. But the CC contest, there was a bunch of courses that were way too hard for CC. And for me, I mean, basically, if your course is that difficult, you're almost DQ'd from, from the CC contest because the, the, the contest, the, the requirements of the contest are to create a course for CC and it's not a CC course. So then it's not there. Imagine having like 10 viewers and telling a new guy he's got to be here. <laughs> You're funny. Cause I do this for the viewers, don't I? Oh yeah, there. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. There's more coming. Uh, this is tricky. Being in the rough, especially. Hmm. No, this will happen occasionally, where one person will come in and stir up a bit of crap, and then. All of a sudden, a bunch of other people will come in after him. It's just the same guy. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't play that very well. 
Ooh. Ooh. You had better be uh, accurate here. There's no real safe area to it, is there? You play it to the right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see that little trickle there. You have to put some spin on that. Okay. So he's definitely making the attempt to make this difficult. There's no question about that. Again, it's just, is it difficult for me, but it wouldn't be difficult for a plat guy. That's the concern. If concern's the right word, it probably isn't. Uh, you can't ever get there in two, I don't think. So, are you better off hitting three with twice? Because, why, why take on the water when you're not gaining anything from it? This was on Elite? Yeah, I can see that. So, and I, I saw last course, like, no, no, last week when I streamed, I kind of saw some similar stuff, right? You get like a 670-ish yard par 5. You're not making it here in two ever, right? Which is fine. You don't have to have every par five doesn't need to be to be reachable. But when you make the tee shot challenging like that, and you're not really gaining anything for it, then you kind of make the hole a bit boring, right? It's just hit three wood, hit three wood, and then we're going to hit this. Hitting driver off the tee, I guess you'd be hitting a wedge in, which... There, there would, with it being such a tight pin, yeah, there'd be some benefit to that. But I just don't know if there's enough benefit to justify taking on that water. It, it, there's some sneaky difficulty in this, though. But elite, yeah, elite sounds, elite feels right. This feels like an elite course. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's plat. Now here, you kind of want to hit driver because you don't want to have, you know, two bills left. Snap in there. Okay. And then we got some kind of camber. It's dog leg. The camera's going in the direction of dog leg, which will help it. It's going to make it play longer, though. The fact that it's a dog leg that you can't cut the corner on. So 330 leaves us one. 70 so it's basically 500 yards uh downhill lie as well okay like the green site here just like the environment around it man just trickle 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 okay so it, it's got some sneaky difficulty to it 
Because around the hole, the ball just keeps rolling away from it. And then a sort of could be drivable four, but isn't. Hit iron so I didn't leave a pitch. Well, I accomplished that goal. Uh. One hop. Yeah, that works. Add some wind to this. Yeah. Elite. Oh, a little short par three here. That's got to get some skates on. Ay ay ay. Well, I wasn't hitting driver. I stopped doing that when I was 12 on par threes. All right, we'll take a par on a 270 yard par 3. And then we're going to finish up coming home. It's been it's been um oh wow. There's pinched fairways, and then there's this. Downwind, you go over the bunker, no problem. Um, into the wind, you don't. Hmm. Got a partial one out here. It's 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 I've really enjoyed like the the shots into the into the greens and the edge the putting has pissed me off because it's just trickle 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 all the time but that's part of what makes that's what makes this course difficult. I just feel like there's it was a little bit tee to green it was just a little bit too comfortable like that. Around the greens it was annoyingly difficult which is good um 7600 yards yeah that's not short hey, scottish crates are really good i mean if this is if we're not talking about the major contest then i'm saying this is a great course right and then if it's not for the major contest you're not gonna have that trickle effect around every hole then it'd be a really really good course um for the major i wonder if it it kind of went in the direction of major. I didn't just didn't go quite far enough. That that's kind of my guess. Um, it needed to have a little bit more teeth, I think. Now, add the conditions to it. Yeah, it's gonna be more difficult, but I just I don't think. And this is maybe me being too being too realistic because in real life the weather does whatever the weather does. You've got no control over it. But I just don't think that if if your course requires certain conditions to be difficult then you haven't quite done it as well as somebody else did right so then it can be a really competent like good major course but it won't be it won't win um and so i think that's where this one is i think it's you know in the upper half i think it made it through the first round so it, it's you know it's definitely better than most but i don't know if it's one that it's gonna win uh, i think it's just i think it's gonna have a good solid finish and i think it's a good solid course so uh, good job scottish uh, my understanding is you've got another course out recently that i'll be looking forward to playing once i get through all these major courses for those watching on youtube thanks for watching make sure to hit like um helps the uh, court or make help like helps the videos in the channel a ton would really appreciate appreciate that and then go ahead and subscribe while i added if you're new thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one